All right, so let's see how to solve equations when my inner function inside the tr um, trick function has a coefficient. So we can definitely use a, um, identity for 2x like we did earlier. Um, we actually had to in the previous one because we had two different angles. Um, this one's different because there is no other angle. So we actually can solve this as is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out when cosine equals 1. So cosine is x, so 1 would be over here. So that would be like 0, 2 pi, 4 pi, and so on. So that could be 0 plus 2 pi k. And since it's just 0, we can call that 2 pi k. Um, the problem is, is this is equal to 2x, not x. So once we find that angle, we're going to put that whole inner function equal to the angle. And then we can just solve this using traditional algebra. Divide by 2, divide by 2. So x is equal to pi times k. And if you wanted to check, we could plug in a couple angles. So we could plug in pi. Basically any multiple of pi should work. So cosine of 2 pi is 1, right? That would be one loop. Um, let's try another one. Let's try negative pi, right? Because k can be negative. So 2 times negative pi will be cosine of negative 2 pi, which is just going backwards. So that's also 1. And then, I don't know, 2. Let's try k equals 5. So cosine of 10 pi, which basically just means we do five circles. One, two, three, four, five. We still end up in the same spot, so it's one. So the idea is, is there's just lots of solutions that make this true. So just make sure once you find the angle, you set the inner function equal to the angle. So let's try this one more time. So this one also has an inner function, right? Theta over three. Um, we are allowed to divide by the two. So you can divide by the outside numbers, not the inside numbers. Outside coefficients, right? The three is kind of trapped inside this function, but the two is free to go to the other side. So we get cosecant of theta over three equals negative one. I'm gonna write it as negative one over one because we, I don't like cosecant, I like sine, and we know sine is the reciprocal. So one over negative one, or sine of theta over three equals negative one. It's just easier to solve sine rather than cosine, and I was allowed to do that because of the reciprocal. All right, so we'll find when cosine is negative one, and we'll set that equal to theta over three. So let's see, sine is the y value, so that'll be negative one down here, which would be, what, three pi over two? And then again, we can make one circle, two circles, three circles, so we'll add the two pi k. And you have to do this at this step. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply both sides by three, but you're gonna multiply both pieces by three. So we're going to get 9 pi over 2, and now it's going to be plus 6 pi k. And if you wanted to check your work, plug in a couple numbers. Plug in some numbers for k. So options of solutions are like 9 pi over 2, that's when k is 0. 9 pi plus 6 pi, 9 pi over 2 plus 6 pi, which is... Uh, 9 plus 12 is 21 pi over 2. And then you could plug these in and see what you get. But there's just lots of solutions. But just make sure when you do start solving, um, if you do any division or multiplication, that you include that plus or minus piece. So I'll see you back for the next video.